Welcome back to another behind the scenes episode. I think this is episode five. We're back in the woods, Mike's here, Graham's here. And today's plan is to finish off the rafters and put the bark on the roof. So hopefully by the end of today, we'll have at least one side of the roof covered in bark. Fingers crossed we'll have half of the other side as well, if we can find enough bark that is. So in my previous episode, I found a nice slice of wood that I said I was gonna turn into a coffee table. This could well be the table legs to my new coffee table. I'm thinking about cutting it there, then cut the branches there, there and there, turn it over and then pin the slice of wood to the trunk. So it's very roughly cut. I'm gonna take it back to camp and just trim it down. Get rid of the bits I don't need. For example, I don't need that branch there. If you still don't know what I'm making, have a look at the previous video at the first five, 10 minutes and you'll see what this is about to turn into. coffee table in the making. Coffee table, done. So Mike, this is a lot of secret projects I've been working on. I like this. I can just picture some mead, some food on it. It's brilliant, man. Yeah. It's really good. You know, it's all about seeing resources. And I saw this the other day and I thought, this is a nice slice, this wedge of wood, it's a perfect tabletop. And as I mentioned in my previous video, I needed a trunk with three branches, like, so I could cut the trunk, cut the three branches, turn them over, pin this wood to it, and here we are, nice, solid, secure uh, table. Really is. It's really heavy as well. And it looks like rustic, doesn't it? it look, it's got a real neat Lord of the Ringsy look to it with all that Lord moss on it. <laughs> yeah. It's nice, man. That is awesome. Now the table's done, it's now time to finish the roof by putting more rafters on. We've already put them on, on this side, we need to finish off this side, then it's time to do the bark. And for those that don't know, if you're new here, my name's Dustin James, and I run a company called West Country Bushcraft. This is where we do bushcraft courses. If you're ever interested in coming along to one of my courses, check out the link below, westcountrybushcraft.co.uk. We don't only do bushcraft courses, we also do stag do's, where you come along, either for the day or for 24 hours, build your own shelter, do lots of fire lighting, deer butchery, cooking over fire. We also do birthdays, and we do corporate events. So if you're interested, check out the link below. Graham's over there peeling some more bark. That tedious job of bark peeling. That's why I've got it. <laughs> Here's Mike, he's back from the woods. He's got two rafters. The Just last two. last two rafters to go on the final side of the roof. So I take you're just taking the limbs off any... I just think, yeah, because these little bits are going to... Any bits like that will just gonna, yeah, we'll we'll probably rip through. through the bark once the bark's secured to it. So just get rid of them like that, smooth it off. And then just like the previous video, we put the ends into the fire. So they end up charred on the bottom. Once again, it's a very old way of preserving wood, especially where the ground is quite wet. Remember, it's winter time here. In the summertime, this woodland is really dry, but as you can imagine, winter time, everything's just a bit damp. So you can see Mike's just been trimming the top of these rafters. Once they're all off, we can then start with the bark. 
So if you didn't already know, this is my dog, Amber. She's a fox red Labrador. Ow! Ow! See ya! Comment below if you have a dog and tell me what dog you have. Well, I think the kettle's boiled. Thank you. Cup of tea. So it begins. So it begins. The big job, the job we've been waiting for a long time for, is tiling the roof. Remember, we've left the roof off so that we could have some light and show you guys what we're doing on the inside of the shelter or of the, of the Viking longhouse. The mess you see inside, that's just bark. It all needs sorting through and eventually it's going to be turned into these lovely tiles and we're going to then pin them to the rafters, just like this. So that we've done one, we're now going to overlap as we go up. Remember, we're not professionals, but we're really enjoying what we're doing and we've learnt so much so far. There's Mike doing all the hard work. <laughs> For once it's not labour intensive. I think it's the first This is quite an enjoyable job. Yeah. So this is what we've done so far. It's actually moving along quite quickly now that we've got all the bark peeled, stacked up, and now it's a matter of just pinning it to the, to the frame, to the rafters, and securing it with a few little tacks. Fingers crossed we'll have this side done by the end of the day. That's a nice bit you've got there. You're barking mad. Are you getting there? So we've probably done maybe 50% of one side of the roof. So you could say we're 25% done, maybe 30% done. I think it's looking like tomorrow evening we will hopefully be done with the whole roof. Anyway, now it's time for a bit of food. So I'm using my skillet here. This is the one I normally have over the campfire and it has legs underneath. But today we're going to use it without legs. So I've just balanced it on these two logs right here. The trick is to make sure it's not too hot. You don't want to burn your food as soon as it goes on. Oh yeah, look who's turned up now the sausages have gone on. I don't know what we're eating off though. I oh, know, <laughs> probably just a skillet. And if you haven't already worked it out, this is our English breakfast. But it's more like lunch. So let's call it an all day breakfast. And here we have it. English breakfast. Welcome to Viking House, part four. <laughs> no, 
Six. What mine about? Okay. <laughs> part 49. Reichenhaus part six. Mm. But the, the first overnighter will be a test, really, for me and Dustin. Don't think you'll be doing it. Will you be doing an overnight uh, Not till about July. <laughs> so, Dad doesn't, he's a fair weather bushcrafter, Dad. Yeah. But um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. And yeah, we'll crack on and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Well, that was good. Now it's back to putting the tiles on the roof. Nice bit of cordage there. Cedar fibres make great cordage. Maybe I'll do a video on cordage from cedar fibres one day. Half an inch. Oh, it slipped a bit. And then we'll just put another slot, another one here from here eventually. Yeah, that's it. Split this side as well. No, this is my side. So here's a quick update. We've almost finished one side of the roof. Hello! <laughs> so we're almost at the end of day one, but we've made a good start on the other side of the roof. Thanks so much for watching Dustin's channel, Bushcraft Tools. Remember, there's going to be other projects coming your way. It's going to be really good. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Make sure you're subscribed to him, give him a thumbs up, and he will see you in the next episode. Thank you.